jump right into the slow news week we are in the dog days of summer my friends yeah, yeah. we are we are so we should just jump in yeah let's just jump right into the fucking file let's see what we got in there we got you guys don't want to talk about space jam I, well we, it could potentially be in there okay i think is it yeah i well, thought that's i was really up. hoping to hear uh there's one individual in this room who constantly praises every single movie they see never offers an ounce of criticism and I was very curious how they felt That's about a good the new Space Jam movie. Go ahead, Mitt. Uh, Zito, I do believe he is talking about <laughs> you who oh, no. actually this is the only movie that Zito doesn't like because yeah. he's from Chicago and I watched it unbiasedly. That's okay. I that's like saying I watched it unbiasedly. I loved it. I'm a huge LeBron fan. Uh, he's a great actor. He has to play the role of a deadbeat dad at the beginning of true. it. That's so he kind of kind of stinks at it Whoa, at the beginning. And then... <laughs> Gumpy just interjected with a little comment there. Is he, de- you think he's a deadbeat? What's that? <laughs> you, you know what you said. He called him a deadbeat dad. He called him a deadbeat. <laughs> yeah, he said he was a deadbeat. You said no, LeBron was a deadbeat. It was like a question. I didn't hear what Mitt said. I said, has to? I was worried no. about this coming in, though, because I knew that there was a good chance that Mitt and Zeke would end up fucking fist fighting yeah. by the end of this discussion. <laughs> I, I will tell you. So I watched it with Connor uh, mm-hmm. when we were down in uh, Houston or wherever, uh, Fort Worth. And I, from the beginning, I was like, oh, wow, great intro, good montage, really cool how he did it. Jordan's was a little better, but I'm not going to keep it there. But then it got to the movie part, and it was not good. <laughs> and I have said I hated another movie before. It was under or sizing. Size me. Downsizing. Downsizing, downsizing. yes. <laughs> Size me. See, the problem has, doesn't stop. <laughs> to Z's point, too, it had everything he liked, like the cameos with all yeah. the other shows. And See, like, I figured that's that's that he would be a sucker. Yes, no, exactly no, so that's that. why Z's fucking lying. This, this is bullshit. bullshit. No, so I, uh, what I, what I was saying fucking about, bullshit. What I said about this <laughs> movie. Z's fucking bullshit. No, <laughs> actually, no, Z's is lying because he that? did not watch this unbiasedly. He would have loved every part of that if it did not have to do with LeBron being a better actor than Jordan. Oh, and that's the only reason why you think it's bad. I LeBron's a better actor than Jordan. Jordan stunk it out. So acting. it was like Ready Player One. Yes, with LeBron. I was about to say. You yeah, loved Ready Player awesome. One. No, no, so I, for no, those reasons, awesome. I loved how Warner Brothers was basically like Fuck a dick sizing, like, to see how big their dick was. They bought oh, downsizing. <laughs> they literally. The movie. What was it? No, no, he was talking about. <laughs> dick, <laughs> he, I think he was referring to a, a dick sized contest. Yeah, yes. a dick measuring contest. Yeah, yeah. so <laughs> Warner Brothers just went out there and said, we own all this now. And that was that's the only way I took it. It was it, it was a piece of just literally saying advertising. We own this. Yeah, right. dude. They had sweet. to show how LeBron ended up with the Toon Squad and not the super cool people of the Marvel Universe. It all had to make sense, dude. He Look, got trapped in the Marvel Universe. Well, it's a Space Jam movie, Mitts. So you're you're assuming that he's gonna be with the Looney Tunes at some point. Yeah. Well, yeah, dude, because it was also like that's the only reason why I watched it. I love like I love the Looney Tunes. I'll watch that shit on Our YouTube, Looney like Tunes. just so on Mitch a regular credit, night. He does love cartoons. He, he does, does. Talks about it all the time. I, a, a person that I respect their opinion. Not a big sports person, so doesn't give a shit about MJ and mm-hmm. LeBron and or anything like that. Described it to me as a LeBron blowjob fest. Oh. So it was basically just LeBron like okay. bow Look, down to me the entire time. I won't even say it's like that. I won't go that far. But to the Mitt and Z argument, Mitt's just so wrong. The movie stunk. I mean, I don't really give a shit about the two of them as far as like, I think MJ's better. I think LeBron's better. Don't really care. Uh, the movie was terrible. No, the cameos no, no. were cool, Yeah, but the movie itself was ridiculous. No, it gra- had a great family lesson. It was a great family movie. Like, what do you, what do you mean? What did you want All from right, what it? was the family lesson? Uh, to let your kids be themselves. 
duh. I it was the that. dad. Exactly. You he, just don't ever let me do me. You said duh after because that's like a fucking sweet, like Little Red Riding Hood type <laughs> book. In yeah, its dude, defense, awesome. a lot of people are saying this is made for like, what, five to 12 year olds? Yeah. And yes. just about. Mid, it what, seems like he is operating go. under that <laughs> a lot God. of times. That's what the LeBron know? stands are pitching this as, is why everyone doesn't like it, is, is that it's a child movie. When the original Space Jam, everybody loved it. Whether you were a child, adult, well, yeah, so sorry, Tony, if you, you can't really well, we were always kids, fucking so. get that good no, no, no. movie. Bill Murray, I remember no. the fucking. If adult you do reviews. go back and watch Cisco it, though, and adults, two Space Jam, up. the original Space Jam, does stink. No, if you go back and it's watch not it, good. that's because no. it's just outdated. Yeah, no, well, right. no, 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 no. It's four kids too. It was awesome when I was a kid. I actually went back and rewatched it, and I was like, ah, this movie's still good. Not that good of a damn movie. I thought it was the best movie ever the first time I saw it. Which one? The original or the one you just saw? The original. I don't know. I loved that movie as a kid. I had it in my mom's car. It's awesome. <laughs> uh, I do have to say one thing. Uh, when I was in Texas, I did get by, uh, I got bit by a spider. Dude, I think hey, I got a spider bite. Look too. at this thing. Look at this fucking... Uh, I don't know if anyone can see it here. Not, do you guys honest. have an, another camera back there? Or? Yeah, go ahead. Put, Put it in this camera right here. It's I mean, too it's dark. It looks black. vicious. It's you got a, uh, we need a phone light. So I think I'm going to die. Couldn't see it. Can't quite see it. Yeah. That stinks, though. Yeah. Good luck. Don't be surprised. It's dude. getting very itchy. Has it started to eat your flesh? Yeah. It's getting bigger. I think I have a spider bite as well. It is very itchy. I damn. hear you. Yeah. I'm hoping it was a friendly spider, though. Probably. Friendly neighbor. Sorry, I just had to talk about it because I was itching. Spider. It. How about you, Zeke? You're good, dude. Good luck, Zeke. Good. What's in the thought? It's good. There you go. A Nevada woman broke into a dentist's office and stole money and pulled a tooth from an unconscious patient on two no, separate no, no. occasions. Thir- Thirteen of them. Oh, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, you guys can see on that screen. What are you... Set me up for failure. Yeah. You sit well, back sons of bitches. I mean, my eyes are so bad. Debbie uh, is alleged that Laurel Ike... Strong name. Yeah. Who is not a dentist. <laughs> broke into the office where she claimed she'd formerly worked. She stole $22,000 in cash and checks. Uh, what? And pulled some teeth. They got that much cash at so the dentist? Yeah, what? Dude, the dentist is expensive. Yeah, they so, again. And then yeah. it says the tooth extraction occurred on a different date than the break-in. <laughs> so she, cash was the first time. Was she living in there? She came back for teeth the second time. Good oh, God. Two separate, I thought it was like a, like a midnight day flip thing if you what scroll down Ike there is doing? a picture of of this <laughs> i didn't know you could steal oh that my much cash god where did it go wrong for <laughs> laurel ike can you uh, imagine if you were fucking I'm unconscious burnt. in the chair and someone fucking someone random came in and stole 13 of your teeth hey you need your two front teeth come here <laughs> if you believe that this is your dentist i mean it might no, they be were unconscious you. Yeah, they were knocked, they're out. They're knocked they're already them out. out. I yeah. thought she knocked them out. No, no, no. <laughs> That'd be a, that, that would add That'd a whole nother layer. Sick. This lady would be Jason Bourne if she also <laughs> My question, are just are dentists knocking us out and then leaving the room for fucking <laughs> yeah, 40 we're minutes? a sandwich, I think. Good. Could be up to anything. You don't really know. They, yeah. they, they could be having have a, sex on top. They could be having fine, a party. They could be having a quinceanera. Mm-hmm. They could be out there is, drinks. There is oh, always wow. that thought now. Whenever you go under now, seeing all this weird shit, it's kind of creepy. See, if you're at like a hospital, though, I don't feel like that. You know, I don't. I mean, <laughs> maybe yeah. you don't know. Who knows? You don't know what happens no. when they put you under. You don't. But I feel like I mean, in a dentist office, like usually what? Like there's only maybe one other person in there, and they Four can yeah. the Hey, office, can you probably. go fucking? Um, Go take a walk real quick. I'm gonna I'm gonna check something out in this guy's mouth, and then the guy's putting his nuts on the person's forehead. You know, ten seconds later, that's how it works. Which I'm fine as long as you don't take my teeth. <laughs> I don't know. I might rather you take my teeth and put your nuts on my face. Buddy. How many teeth are we talking? Yeah, Thirteen gonna, or one? Yeah, you're gonna, a lot. That's you're gonna wake up and yeah, your forehead might be a little clammy or something like that. <laughs> Well, at least you got your teeth. You're right. 13 teeth is too much. You can't take half my teeth. I mean, that's, that's ridiculous. Do we only have 26 teeth? I'm yeah. pretty sure, yeah. 13 top, 13 bottom. It's definitely bottom. a 20 number. It's 26. I'm, is it? I'm damn near positive. That's the alphabet, yeah. dude. <laughs> no, I know. But that's why That's why the alphabet's the alphabet, because how many teeth we have. Really? Yeah. yeah. 
Uh, adults 32 have 32 teeth. You son of a bitch. You were close. 32? 32? You were close. 18, 18? No. That's Someone what, said <laughs> that's, that's no, with, and that's, I honestly <laughs> thought it was 26. And that's without dude. wisdom teeth. So, so yeah, you still 20. have your wisdom teeth. You got more. Do you have your wisdom teeth still? I do. Yeah, I do too. Oh, yikes. I got to cut. Better hope those yeah, bad better boys don't got to come out. I don't know, yeah. What do you mean? I'm, I'm this far in life. They don't have to come no, out I now. Think, yeah, you you probably are good at this I'm point. On the cusp. You get bad migraines, Yeah, you right? might be in the red zone here. Mm-hmm. It's like chicken pox. I'm good. We'll see what happens. Yeah, but they also say, like, get them out early so you heal faster and it doesn't hurt as bad. When you get them out later and let them oh, avoid it, it's... Oh, boy. And it's nah, miserable when you get them out when you're younger, too. Well, I was, like, I was 16. Say, no matter what, it's didn't yeah, bother me. Here's the thing. I'm at a point in my life where I will appreciate the drugs more. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Maybe. True, Good and they do time. load you up with those. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not sure 16 year old me would have appreciated the drugs as much as I would now. Also, not to mention what they're going to do to you when they put you under to take your wisdom teeth out. True. Plus, 16 year old me would have been like pissed that I had to like stay inside all day and like. Yeah, watch I had to TV. stay inside for a weekend. It's fucking sucked, but... pumped. I'd be pumped now. Yeah, true. Hat- Perfect Still weekend. Yeah. Let's get these babies out. Yeah. Let's go. Next. Uh, just in Canada to let fully vaccinated U.S. citizens into Canada starting on August 9th. All right. Here we go, pal. Congrats, Gumby. Come back, Gumby. No, I'm still staying here. I mean, <laughs> what? What if we go? What if we take a trip? We should. What if we head up to fucking? Want to I thought go, you I said your first you. order of business was going up to that titty bar in Quebec. <laughs> <laughs> that is in Montreal is a good spot. Yeah. I was thinking about going home, but yeah. I'm you got to go get your tarps, dude. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> there's a little bit more to the story of getting the tarps and the key, and it's just something I don't want to deal with. It's not so much of going home. We'll get them. Uh, yeah. We'll, we'll get them. We'll get them. We'll when get you them. walk into a strip club, Gump, what's the first thing you go? Boobs. Me? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Hi. I'm not going to say it. Or the boobs. Go, yeah. <laughs> Usually just go grab a beer and honey, uh, I'm nice. home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the buffet. You getting ice cold? What's the on? alcohol situation like at Canadian bars? Like, do you got to pay? Is it a nice bar? Is it fucking Mickey Mouse? <laughs> you have to what pay? do you mean? <laughs> I mean, we've been in. You talking about paying the cover up front and then getting yeah. the booze on the back end? Yeah, Is that what you mean? You get a, <laughs> you get a cup and they just refill that baby. <laughs> yeah. Where's oh. this? That side. Uh, <laughs> That's Pittsburgh, baby. Really? Did Not all of them. What? No. Just, that, um, why can't I think of the name? That's wild. McKee's Rocks. McKee's Rocks. Veronica. Veronica. Rock. Yeah, like, about Illinois State? It's like 20 bucks to get in, and then... And then they give you a plastic cup, and you fill it up. Fill her up. Come on. Oh, that's yeah. That's awesome. That's incredible. Yeah, you, it's hard not to get drunk yeah, there. that's no so shit. Sweet. Holy Holy shit. It's hard God, not to get drunk it. there. Waste all your money. Why have we not been there? <laughs> Good Pandemic. I mean... It got her. Is there yeah. where you've been holding out? Where you been, pal? Been holding out on me this all this whole time? Tell you what, next time we're back, we'll give Erotica a visit. There we go. Z, Jeez. what happened at Illinois State? So Illinois State, after like when the bars closed, there's like a bunch of buses. There's party buses. They'll take you back to like the your apartments. And there's this one bus that's always there. It's unmarked. You never know. You get in, and they're like, "All right, where are you going?" And they they don't care. They're taking you to the strip club. That's 45 minutes away, like in like basically boo middle of Illinois and you have oh, no way to go food, home dude. no way to go home and you gotta pay a cover $45 but you drink for free when you're there that's pretty sweet so it's not that's bad that's a good deal what's it too. called the boob shack yeah. just Kappa Dr. It's, it's, boobs. it's called Kappa. Kappa welcome to the boob shack yeah. boo-foo <laughs> that would actually be a pretty good name for a strip club boob shack? they're legitimately well, just like tricking kids into like oh yeah I'm going home and then they just end up in a strip club yes that's, yeah. that's actually really awesome but for the kids that. too yeah, that, for yeah. The kids like, they man, take you home after though. That's that's nice. Imagine but. being on that bus. Man, <laughs> we, should, we should have gone to a strip club. <laughs> but wait, I got something for you. <laughs> <laughs> who's, who's driving the bus? Beetlejuice. <laughs> yeah, they had Michael Keaton as Beetlejuice is driving the bus. So you know, once you realize that, it's like, yeah, I'll go to the Boo Shack oh, every nice. weekend. I'm in a movie. <laughs> yeah. All right, next. Oh shit. You're gonna have to read on the big screen. There you go. Summer rains bring vine, vine garoons out of their burrows in search of food and love. Vine garoons are about three now. inches long and <laughs> relatively benign unless you happen to annoy them. They can pinch with their heavy mouth parts. 
repeat a pal <laughs> <laughs> and shoot a well-aimed spray of 85% acidic acid vinegar from the base of their whip to protect themselves. Vinegroons are nocturnal and can't see very well. They hunt millipedes, scorpions, crickets, cockroaches, and other invertebrates by sensing... Something. Something that's very, very cool. <laughs> this is where we get vinegar uh, this from? This is happening in Texas, I believe. Oh, that picture, Ooh, Texas? These things are actually kind of electric then. Yeah, they, cool. you see what they eat and yeah. all, all the sweet, deadly bugs I was gonna and say, gross the, bugs. The vermin that we don't yeah, want but around. if you irritate them, get your fucking caught in those pinchers. Yeah, they look like the next... Like, oh, what? What is it going to pinch me and squirt me was, with vinegar? Oh, yeah. no. Oh, no. Hey, you know what this thing can't Tuesday. defend from is a nice fucking boot heel. <laughs> True. So, I mean... But this thing, you know what else also can't hide from a boot heel? What's that? Scorpions. They still scare me. Yeah. Because oh, they yeah, will they sneak up on you. Yeah, for sure. What if these, one of the, these things are hiding in your boot? These things are killing scorpions. Yeah, but that thing... What that's what I'm this saying. Thing? You don't think that pinch is going to hurt if they're killing scorpions? That might fucking take your toe off, dude. The no. vine garoons do not mess around. Dude, the yeah. vine garoons. Oh. I'm team <laughs> vine garoon. I don't know what you guys I are like doing. I like these You things, can be yeah. team scorpion all you want. No, I'm no, no. I'm not garoon. team scorpion. I'm, I'm saying not. go against the runes, my friend. No, 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 no. Give me the runes. Okay, there's, there's new stuff coming out. They're as big as your hand. Jeez. Even it's better. pretty big. Big, bad. You could see that thing coming. Just saying, I don't need, like, this poor lady. <laughs> She's got a vine garoon on her back. Dude. Oh, God. <laughs> you need to walk around with a fucking sledgehammer killing those things if they were making that sound. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. If, they're making, the world. if they're making noises like that, I'm out. Yeah. Zito, yeah, just type okay. in vine garoons and all. then go to the picture of the one that's sneakily on that lady's fucking no. back, dude. The runes. Oh, that's, that's a cat, dude. You did, there oh. we go. Oh, my. Like they just hide on people's backs. Let me see. There is no hiding. <laughs> Look at the thing; it's hiding on her back. Well, I mean, the fucking TV's angled the other way. I can't fucking see the thing. <laughs> Put it on the. Uh... I'm all in on this. Oil up my salad, dude. Oh, this thing yeah. can squirt vinegar all over top of it. I'll have a nice fucking meal right before, I right get before my rooms. entree. I need some vinegar on my fries. Yeah, these are bigger than tarantulas, dude. Yeah, I, I don't. Mess I'm out on these. I'm out on all. I'm not gonna so. bash them or back them, but <laughs> I'm. You know, I'm taking that. I want that stance too. Oh, oh hey, can, I, can I be on your stance? Absolutely. I'm out on the runes. Uh, I mean, why does this guy have ten on his face? People are weird. He's fucking. You could What's he like doing? That, dude? He took about six lifeless dance. bodies. <laughs> dead. <laughs> Fucking vinegar and crawl around his brain. Uh, there's a TikTok going around of this mom. She's a nutritionist and she's got a bunch of drawers um, in her pantry. Mm -hmm. And it's all of foods, fast foods that don't decompose at all. So this is one of those classic, like, oh, yeah. McDonald's burger looks the same the day you buy it versus a year from now. Fries, yeah, empanadas, hey, all that, that good stuff. Hey, lady, we know. You know where these things do decompose and break down? Exactly. In my belly. Hey, and they yeah. taste delicious. Thank you. Hell yeah. Hell yeah is right. What are you trying to prove here? Exactly. Yeah. Nutritionists, they have a box to stand on and something to yell. So yeah, you're right. Let's not forget that she's pounding some sort of drum over there that no one really wants like, to hear. Like, do you think any of her kids are coming in and being like, hey, mom, you stink. Get this shit out of here. Like, we want some decent snacks around it here. It was the kids' uh, TikTok that put it out. Yeah, I her, think the kid like, liked the mom. Her kids, <laughs> her kids are brainwashed. <laughs> To I think this fucking kid liked her mom. This kid fucking liked this mom. He was a, he was a dipshit. I don't know. We've talked about the McDonald's warming like file cabinets before. It looks exactly like this. Like that's how the food is. Yeah, stored. I did think Bill was gonna come in here and tell us some McDonald's facts because it did look eerily similar. That's exactly how it actually is. It's terrible. Right, like well, fully made already, works. like this. Not fully made, oh. but just like the meat, and then you take out the meat. Gotcha, and gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I mean, I've watched people do that. My mom is also a nutritionist, and she tried, like, to Look show us how bad out. fast food was. Uh, my sister and me just didn't really give a shit, and it lasts about a year. Yeah, and oh. you're a doofus, but the people should know your sister is, like, a world-class athlete. Yeah. So what you're saying is it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, my sister is a two-time All-American high school athlete, mm -hmm. and she... Holy also eats shit. fast food. I think she eats more fast food than I do. Well, right? and for you, wasn't it like, you know, you came home one night all duped up. And we're like, Mom, we need fucking Oreos in here. I'm sick of this bullshit. Didn't that happen? <laughs> no, I mean, we always had Oreos. We stocked Oreos, ice cream, you popcorn, say Oreos. all that. 
Always, always. Did you hear how? He, did you happen to hear how he said Poland? Earlier? No, I missed that. Poland. He was asking uh, Poland friend of the show Gabe Renzi about the Olympics, and he said. What's your thoughts on Brazil and Poland? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, say both of them. Poland? No, Poland. it's not. Mitt. Uh, this Poland. is Brazil. No, yeah. no, it's not. No, I asked Mitt. I wasn't trying to make fun of you. I'm just always fascinated by the way people say certain words. Like I used to know someone. They used to say instead of saying it open, they would say open. Open. Mm. Open. Flower. Like, why? Why would you say? Flower. Flower. Shower. Ar. Pyre. Pyre. Deckle. Yeah, yeah, like, tackles. That, is that wild. one is. I don't even know what that, that is. That is insane. Oh, you know Gumpy, what are you trying to say? <laughs> Deckle, dude. Decal, Mitt. Decal. <laughs> like oh. a helmet decal. Oh, those are completely different words. Whoa. Dude, Deckle. Oh, next. Deckle's <laughs> yeah, yeah, Oh, here he comes. Oh, we did it already. Oh, oh hi, haters. I'm yeah, sorry. It's on me. I couldn't guys. wait. I had to. We had to discuss it. I needed Zeke's opinion. Yeah, Space Jam stinks. We all know. Next. Oh, LeBron <laughs> tweeted hi, haters. Yeah, LeBron tweeted at Z, actually. That was sick, dude. I wish he did. Jeff Bezos and crew make safe landing as billionaire achieves childhood dream of becoming astronaut. Congrats. I mean, and a cowboy. Yeah. Calling him a fucking astronaut's a little. Hey, yeah, he was floating in space. He was floating. Yeah, he was. Astronauts go up there for like years. Yeah, you know, true, the guy true. was up there for fucking eleven minutes and forty seconds. Yeah, I'm not wearing that cowboy hat. What up is there? that? That I think it was in the castle. He, if you look at that cowboy hat, he wears that hat everywhere. Oh yeah. Okay, that hat's been some places. I mean, we're, I'm not considering that kid who got to tag along an astronaut. That's what I'm no, saying. No. That right now. No, I don't think. All right, so here. Why did that kid get to go? Because the guy who bought it uh, had a. He, uh, scheduling conflict with the flight for $28 million, so some other dude bought it, and he sent his son. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, so here's the definition. Looks good. Scheduling conflict. 18 year old Dutch student science kid. Oh, so he could one day be an astronaut. Oh, I don't know about that. I just know he was a this student who was in science. Do you, know what's, do you know what astronaut fucking translates to? It's pretty awesome. Hmm. Space cowboy. Star sailor. Oh, oh wow! Did not know that. That's the definition. No, <laughs> it's from the Greek astron, which means star and sailor. Star sailor. Uh, the definition is a person trained, equipped, and deployed by a human spaceflight program to serve as a commander or crew member aboard a spacecraft. Although generally reserved for professional, sometimes applies to scientists, politicians, journalists, and tourists. Why? Anyone who goes into space. Was he wearing that cowboy hat? Was that ever addressed? Did they uh, launch in Texas shout, or something? No, it was shout out. I don't know. He loved the movie Space Cowboys with Tommy Lee Jones. Well, I was about and, to, uh, <laughs> I was about to <laughs> ask, like, is he was, trying to become Peter Griffin from the episode of Family Guy when he goes back to the high school reunion and he's a billionaire astronaut cowboy? I mean, it's possible. It's certainly possible. It didn't look like he knew how to handle when they uh, when there was no gravity up there. Tony, yeah, what's the uh, I, I origin thought, of Astron? Uh, that would be <laughs> Greek, Space Sailor. Greek, no Greek, origin. Greek, 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 yes. Uh, when was that word invented? Because how do the Greeks have a word for uh, Space Sailor? Good question. Uh, there's not a date. They knew about space, though, right? Yeah. Galileo? Space sailing. Yeah, they Galileo. Didn't have, they didn't know shit about Is Galileo of Greek? Well, they knew, no. They knew they were Greek. Hey, oh, come on, dude. What do you think they thought Zeus was doing? <laughs> well, that's my point. Well, not. Zeus is, is, isn't it just God. short from nautical? Is that what? Oh, so why? Sailor. I don't know. I'm just so why have yeah, a star sailor. sailor word unless they were? I mean, I love I aliens. I don't. Think, I love the questions you're asking. I don't think they made the word. You, you bring up a good point. <laughs> but I just Greek, don't have answers for you. <laughs> it is Greek. It's Greek. But yes. like, I think they're taking astro, and then part not of not, but no, from said. Greek and putting it, and they put it together. Oh, so they didn't. Okay. Just clarifying. But you could be on to something. I'm Maybe. just making sure. I'm just making sure. I did read. Not, uh, I thought I read an article today that his hat possible. was in tribute to Sam Neill and uh, Dr. Grant. Oh, Sammy Neill. I thought it was because he loved Daniel Daniel Craig, Craig from yeah. da- Cowboy, Cowboy and Aliens. Aliens. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Could have been yeah. Sammy Neill and Hugh Grant. Maybe Ali Sattler. Ali. I think done doing this shit. Who's doing this next? Now this is like kind of the the hot thing to do. Like I think Jay Z wants Tom to go Cruise. Up. Has Jay Z? Has yeah. Elon been in space? Well, yeah, he's he's an alien. Well, I know, True. but like, has he publicly been in space? I, I think if so. he did, it would probably. I think he's next. He's always been like suit yeah. on, like on at base, right? Yeah, he's too afraid to go up. Huh. I don't know. I meant dress suit, not like space suit. 
No, I know. <laughs> okay. you, are you reading about the fucking Greek language over there? Yeah, and this one, uh, I don't know if it's true or not, but it says the word astronaut was first used in English in 1928, some decades before the era of space travel. It's a combination of astro, meaning relating to the planets and stars or space, and not from the Greek word for sailor. I sure just black, not. <laughs> Classic. Classic. Good pull. Good for Bezos. <laughs> Good for Bezos. Forever Young and Still Funny in the Head. Check out the new trailer for Jackass Forever and see our big dumb movie in theaters everywhere. I did not get a chance to see a trailer as anyone watched. I have no. seen it. It was very, very cool. It right. was it was good. It. Yeah. I mean, 17.2 thousand retweets right I, there. I will say, like, uh, on to something. Giant Knoxville goes off this humongous cannon. So I thought they were going to have all those new guys do all, like, the damage. I saw Giant Knoxville shoot off a cannon probably, like, 80 feet in the air, and he got hit by a bull yeah, again. So, like, oh, yeah, so, so he's... This is them like passing the baton. Yes, this is their final. Yeah, dance. they're, some, they're doing bad. some pretty cool normal jackass staff that's stuff. Gonna it's awesome. gonna be sweet. Yeah. Is Dave England gonna like poop in a Home Depot again? Because that's always a good gimmick. I love when they do that. <laughs> didn't, I don't know for sure. I think they didn't reveal that in the trailer, but I, he better get his good. teeth out. knocked out. Yeah. That's one of my favorite things when they knock his teeth. <laughs> out. I gotta put him in the back of a taxi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they did they end it with out. David England. Uh, they put a bunch of honey on him, and they open this trap door, and a bear comes in, and that's the end of the whole Ooh. entire trailer. Well, I believe he was also one of the guys who uh, he's like allergic to bees, and they put him <laughs> inside a limo and like had a beekeeper come and put. I mean, it was wild. They put marbles outside the car, so when he was getting, he got stung like a hundred times by these bees. <laughs> What's the closest thing you guys ever done to jackass? Uh, <laughs> we we tried to do the shopping cart, cart shit yeah. for a while when I was a kid. Uh, we had our buddy, he walked out into uh, the street in like the neighborhood, so it wasn't like a highway or anything, but he, he would walk into the side of cars as they would drive down the street <laughs> and pretend like, yeah, it was fucked up. Definitely shouldn't have been doing it. We'd do the golf shit. <laughs> They'd, like, he'd like walk into the rear fender and like fall down. Hit each other golf carts? Is that what you just said? No, no, no. Oh. We'd stand in the woods and yell at people in their backs. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah we've really done fun. that before. Yeah. We used to antique each other. They don't yeah, that, that, was, that was a classic. No. Just yelling like, bam, 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 and did that quite a bit, you know. <laughs> Ding dong ditch. Yeah. yeah. Of course. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely, Fucking really? I absolutely gunned Skittles at a car one time while we were walking home. Guy turned around, almost beat the shit out of him. He was like sixth grade. He was electric. They bounced. I threw him so hard, they bounced off the car and hit a couple of my buddies standing over there. It was classic. I jumped out of a minivan once doing like 30 in like a giant bush. We watched That's insane. The bush jumping CKY DVDs mm-hmm. and all that shit. You know what I think would be great on this set of Jackass? Liquid Death. Hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Good idea. Nothing like a nice, refreshing liquid death after you get your brain stomped <laughs> I know. in by a prank. And hell they yeah. weren't allowed to have alcohol on the set because of Steve-O. So, you know, oh, come liquid on. death, refreshing waters, <laughs> the best you can have all the time. Yeah. Hell go, yeah. Go to liquiddeath.com slash the pod to get a free set of koozies with your first order of any case of water. Or just grab some of any Whole Foods or 7-Eleven. Go to liquiddeath.com slash the pod. Hell Yeah. yeah. What? Next one. Hopefully, Jackass is good. Oh, oh yeah. Cisco is talking about his inspiration for writing the, the thong song. Uh, I didn't read this. Anyone read that? No, yeah, I think I did. Incredible, I, dude. You want to zoom in? Gumpy, take it away. Yeah, we, need, we just need a uh, cliff notes. Oh, I can't do cliff notes. It was a cold winter's oh. night. I <laughs> no, I don't remember if it was winter time or not, but I had a date with a young lady. And I must have done something right over the course of dinner because I got treated in a more intimate gathering later on. We started to get all hot and heavy. She got undressed and lo and behold, I see something that I had never seen before. This article of clothing. It was one of the most glorious things I've ever seen in my life. I was like, what are you wearing? And she said, oh, this old thing? It's a thong. I think that was when my hair turned blonde. It was like (laughs) in the Ten Commandments when Moses went to... Oh, no, it's kind of... Well, Moses, I believe, went to Sinai to get the tablets. Um, 
<laughs> Basically, his buddy comes in and starts talking about a thong. And so Cisco uh, had never seen a thong before. I guess not. Not until this intimate gathering. I mean, this song came. This that's song what came out in what, probably like '97 or '98. So that's so when women just rocking full bumps. Hold on, let me see. Shit, I don't remember. Oh, he said, thong song was 1999. Yeah. Thongs were definitely. Thongs? He said him and his buddies went out. They turned it into like Fellowship of the Ring. They were all on the hunt. They were looking for girls with thongs. <laughs> and one of them, but one of the dudes came back and was like, "Yo, I hit last night, and she had that thong, the thong, thong, thong." And Cisco was like, "Hey, that's funny." And they made a song about. it. They were created in the mid 70s. That's incredible. Imagine mid-70s, the first woman huh? busting out a thong in yeah. the 70s. Yeah. Yeah. They probably, they were, that was probably the Salem witch hunt. I'm sure I mean, I don't want to do oh, this. Yeah. That. Poor guys are, I don't, 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 don't follow her everywhere. I don't, don't want to do this, but do it. Call him bullshit. Saying he's full of shit. Tony. Call him bullshit. His, His life is incomplete. happy. I mean, uh, yeah. Don't I cross don't the dragon, dude. They were around for 25 years and Cisco never saw one. I don't know. I what hate to call his character into question like ah, that. It's a bold. I move. know it's bullshit because I was in junior high in what two thousand one. Sure. Which is two years after this song. The song. There was a lot of whale tales in junior high. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah. And I less naturally girls started expect them to become more popular after the song. song. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking they were. I'm calling <laughs> bullshit. I don't want to hear it. I think that I think Cisco's lying, and I don't like that. But all right. Hey, that's that's your truth. Next. Yeah. <laughs> uh, take it away, Mitt. Uh, this was hilarious. Got you in your mic. Uh, this was hilarious. Do not be the person that is just making out with your girlfriend at the bar. You look like an absolute idiot. What oh, she was a guy. girlfriend? I know. What, about the what about the guy recording it singing? What would you call him? <laughs> oh, he is a drunk buffoon. But, I mean, like, I was I was at least having acceptable behavior to be drunk singing at a bar. This guy was just... Oh, so you think they were dating, man. huh? I mean, I have no idea. I have no clue who this kid is. So when but. I first saw this, I thought it was, like, a, a random meeting uh, make-out, like, bar make-out. Yeah, because there's not a... I have not I mean, even I have in the no first idea. month or two, you're making out at a bar. But after that... I also no, thought I was Why are you yeah. making out with your anybody buddy. at a party? No, I have no idea. Who they want dude, to you are such a prick. You're just blowing this guy's spot <laughs> yeah, up on yeah. Twitter. Yeah, dude. Fuck oh, wait, he was your buddy? Guy. He's not his buddy. Oh. No, I have no idea who this guy is. Don't do this. It's not like I put the guy's face in. Were you it? jealous that he was making out and you yeah. liked it? Well, that's no, also, I, I mean, like, you know, that's how I know when you were going to bars and stuff at DePaul, it was Mickey Mouse. Because if you go to, like, a yes. state school or something, like, guess what, Mitt? This shit happening all the time. I, mean, I have been night, going to this everywhere. exact same bar for a really no long way. time, and I'm not <laughs> going to say the amount of years, but I, I have never seen this type of behavior. It's not acceptable. What? I have never seen this no, type this, of behavior. I mean, oh, Jesus. Jesus. This guy going? stinks. How long have you been going to this bar? I'm not answering Fucking that question. Fucking eight years, dude. <laughs> <years, two. laughs> How old are you, man? I'm 22. And I'm your, almost 23. And your first year was spent in a pandemic when the bars were closed. No, 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 no. This one was never closed. No. This one was never closed. <laughs> I'm not out in this bar, but they were never was, closed. Oh, you're saying Mitt's never really been to a bar. I, I'm, or, or, he uh, had a fake idea. Fucking underage. What? I mean, he claims to know what acceptable behavior is in the bars. You're not even allowed to fucking play a little tonsil hockey in front of the guy. Yeah. Come on. Of course you would be the one that would be doing this type of shit. Dude. Whoa! Yeah. You know what? You got me. You sue me, okay? Oh, You're Connor. You're disgusting. What's what up? did someone call your mustache this weekend? Uh, a push broom. That's good. Mm. Yeah. I'll fuck good. it. I just thought of that. Sorry. <laughs> I just looked at your mustache. Push broom. This dude at a hotel on Thursday night. Nice push broom. That's pretty good. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We just looked Thank at each you. other. It's like, that's genius. Yeah, a nice fool, man. Yeah, no, it was good. It was good. It's nice. nice, too, that you got that hat where it's got, like, the steer horns mm-hmm. on top, which Similar. is basically like, the exact opposite of your yeah. stash yeah, on the bottom. Right? I got horns down on the bottom, baby. That is Whoa. Sweet. Horns up, up top. Oh. Well, nothing wrong with that. No, it's all right. I don't think you can say that anymore. Or anything. Yeah, you can. At the game, you can't. But just in RL. In general? Yeah, in you RL, can? you're fine. Yeah. That's how they outlawed it. No, 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 no. In our out, you're fine. Okay. Yeah, no, you're yeah. cool. Thanks. Nice. Sure. For sure. No. No. No, I just, said that. I just <laughs> did. <laughs> uh, suburban man who, who tossed Bobcat like a football required 35 <laughs> shots to fight off rabies. 
I'm confused about that. So I thought one shot, you're done no matter what. Now, the rabies shot, uh, if you don't remember or have never been told in your life, apparently you need a lot of them, and they are very big and very painful. Oof. The shots Expensive or the rabies? Too, no, the vaccines. They're oh, like the rabies shots. That you have to get for it. Mm -hmm. Apparently very big, very painful, and you need a lot of them because rabies is a bitch. So like one time I like uh, I was climbing a fence. It was rusty. It went in my hand. And they only gave me like a half a shot. Yeah, you got a tetanus. So that's, shot. that's tetanus. Yeah, that wouldn't be rabies. Oh, I thought I was in my lockjaw. That's on me. What? What? You get huh? lockjaw after t uh, if if you huh? get uh, tetanus, right? Huh? Huh? I'll be I honest, I'm so. not sure. I so, the, yeah, uh, you can. What the effects are, but uh, this poor bastard, he might have been better off just letting that bobcat maul his wife. Well, see, yeah. I was gonna say the same thing. I mean, 30, 35 shots is better than having a bobcat rip your jugular out with his jaws. So <laughs> it's all relative, you know. Do you remember his voice? Can, can you remember his voice, Dorn? Yeah. Oh, Bobcat attacked my wife! Get out of here! Get inside! Yeah, I think it was something like that. Oh, uh, yeah. All right, next. What the fuck is this? You never heard of Peppa Pig? Peppa Pig? Yeah. Has been revealed as the culprit of giving American children British accents. American kids have watched so much Peppa Pig. <laughs> Great During movie. the COVID-19 pandemic, they are oh, developing English accents and That's using sweet. English slang. That's awesome. We were missing this as kids. Yeah, good. These kids yeah. are lucky. They should make a Yinzer one of these. Ooh. Yeah, that, yeah, that was Fred Rogers. Yeah, dude. Really? That's the Rogers neighborhood. He yeah. talked to the Yinzer accent Mr. the whole McFeely time? Mr. McFeely came around. Oh, so... You, you, hey, Fred, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> we had a package for you. <laughs> We had this and that guy who was running Shiny Time Station. <laughs> Shiny Time Station classic. George Carlin? George mm -hmm. Carlin. That's what we fucking grew up with. I remember when I found out, like, got off to find out that George Carlin was who he is and not the conductor on Shiny Time. My mind was blown. I was like, whoa, this guy's awesome. Yeah. He's not a stooge. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Shout out. Shout out. I like this. Yeah. I bet you love this, Gump. Pepper you and Pig? your. Yeah. Love for the so many oppressive more. British overseas. Just do whatever they say. Yeah, whatever. Don't we're, we're not, we're not going to break out. We're just going to stay in Canada. Don't try and push your narrative, Nick. I do this like does. the idea of young kids going up to their parents and be like, Oi, come on! What's the angle? <laughs> we'll be What's for lunch? <laughs> <laughs> That's the angle. Yeah. That'd be sweet. Also, I fucking love Grill, by the way. Just saw it. So do we do right. away with Peppa Pig then? Just make kids watch PWH on repeat? Yes. <laughs> Play the hits? Him and Wink? Probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mix in that. And <laughs> some of his other roles. I just want to see well, the world burn. Yeah. Maybe not Black Clansman. I don't but. know. Whoever fucking Alfred says at the end of the fucking Batman movie. I failed you. <laughs> I failed to protect you. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you... <laughs> no, I was going to say that. Some people wants the world burned, but I couldn't do that. Uh, yeah, it bodes well for our fucking soccer team. <laughs> United States soccer about to be very, much better. It's a good a point. Ruby. I'm going to be honest with you. I hate soccer right now. Whoa, dude. Why? I don't know. I just... I used to love it as a kid. But now I just I watch it. It's all about the end. Most well said. <laughs> but like, there's no build up. There's zero zero for fucking five hours. Yeah, it stinks. It does. Basketball is not much different when you look at it. Oh, Except they get the dunk and shoot. True. And score more buckets. It just it's been bothering me. So I just got off my shows. How'd you do? Good. Feel better? I do feel a little better actually. Thanks for asking. Oh yeah. Good. Nice. What the fuck is this? I saw this. <laughs> you sit on this thing? No, you have you, you pulled. You pull the, <laughs> hey, sit on my lap! <laughs> you pull the foreskin. If you pull the foreskin down, it lights up. Yeah. Really? Uh huh. Yeah. So it's always on? So your electricity bill is fucking through the roof? And so right now it's off, but if you pull the rubber oh, down. Oh, yeah, you gotta turn it on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, the lamp does, <laughs> does turn on. And. Z, so, you sent this in, so I figured you bought one. Did I really send this in? Sometimes yes. if you use two hands, <laughs> the light bulb fucking blows up. <laughs> yeah, I I don't know if Who's I did this, in, but I I would buy one. It looks, it looks <laughs> art. There you go. <laughs> it looks artsy. There you go. Okay. Imagine having a couple right of these in the house. 
Yeah, I'd never use them. It'd be a dark house. <laughs> is, there a, is there a suction on the bottom you could put on the shower wall? It'd be. <laughs> You're just chucking them up on your roof. It'd be a great gag, though. Or is he? Hey, have a seat. Come on, turn the light on. <laughs> hey, can you turn the light on? It's always nice when they suck into the bathtub wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how do I... <laughs> Where's the switch? Oh, that's know, a very I... interesting light you have in the shower. <laughs> you know what to do. <laughs> yeah, he's going to put your uh... butt cheeks on. <laughs> oh, uh, so that's all I have. That's the end of the pod? That's the end of the pod? That's the end of the pod. Oh, no, 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 no. It wasn't no. working. It wasn't working. <laughs> Um, oh, yeah, I didn't realize this, but apparently on Monday, Mitt wore two different shoes in here. Is that what the, I couldn't figure what? out what this tweet was? Oh, I thought it was the socks. You wore two different shoes? No, the socks are a whole nother question. Oh, those are two different socks, though, right? Those are two different size shoes. Two oh, different two khaki different. socks. <laughs> no, no, no. Same socks. Who are you, man? <laughs> so you wore two different shoes in then, right? Uh, actually, no, I did just see that. Uh, I had left a pair of shoes in the office, and then I just thought that this tweet was a lot funnier than all of you guys did, I guess. Oh, so you What's did this the, what, what do you Oh, so this is a joke. Yeah, it was a joke. Oh, okay. So, oh. Joke, I mean, that. I mean, no, that's pretty good. I didn't see this tweet. A lot of your stuff doesn't pop up just because uh, after you misspelled every single word, I think my Twitter understood that I just <laughs> couldn't read your tweets anymore. Yeah. Are you spelling uh, tweets just, right I'll now? Just mess with yeah, you, well, that's yeah. what it was. You're doing a lot better than that? Yeah. That was good, Mitt. If that is really, I, I, I mean, I legit just thought you wore two different shoes in here. No, no, no. I, I actually did just see that shoe, and I was like, oh shit, I left those here. And then I was like, oh, this would be kind of funny to eat. And then it did not hit. I don't know. <laughs> hey, good shot at the board. That is, that is a good shot at the board. Funny. Yeah, and I think it was tough to tell that it was two different shoes. Yeah, and that people that and that you were kidding. I think a lot yeah, of people I, like us were like, I can't believe this kid wore two different shoes into work. It's a dangerous game though if Mitt gets into trolling now. Yeah, yeah it very. is. Troll- hard, it'll be very hard to tell. Blurring the lines. Cry wolf situation. Have you guys realized that I've been uh, spelling all my tweets right lately? You've been crushing it. I actually have not, to my point. No, I, I just said your tweets haven't been popping up, but that is good. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Are you sure they're spelled right, or you just think they're? No, I, that, that gimmick definitely did get old. No, a gimmick. It wasn't no, a, gimmick, a gimmick, but huh? I did kind of I'm glad you're you know, proofreading. Yeah, proofreading your stuff and taking a little bit more time. Yeah. I've been met. Good work. Next. Oh. Jesus. I don't know when this was. I think it was a couple days ago. Um, yeah. Would have been Billy Mays' 63rd birthday. He named all his kids Billy Mays. Oh, Sorry. God damn. We miss you, Billy. Thank, Thank you, you, Billy. Billy. Miss you, Billy. Billy Mays here. <laughs> another fantastic product. Great tribute. Yeah. Thank That's you. Good. OxyClean. That stuff worked, huh? Hell so yeah, they say. Hell yeah, it did. One of the best pitch men in the biz. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Him and uh, Anthony. Don't say his name. Yeah. Well, the say other Phil guy. Phil Swift? Or you oh, the slap chop guy. Yeah. Shamwah. Oh, Shamwah. No, oh, that was Vince. He, that he Vince. got caught with a hooker. He got the juice. <laughs> <laughs> Vince went to jail. I make mistakes. <laughs> Anthony something. He's a great pitchman as well. Serious biz. To Z's point. Did Billy Mays name all of his kids I, Billy? I believe he did, which is a <laughs> power move. Yeah, good for him. That's awesome. You know what? I Phil Swift thinks he's Billy Mays. Yeah, yeah. He does. I fucking hate Phil Swift. You know what Phil Swift's got going Hello. for him is he's got hell of a product. <laughs> it does. sucks. But he's not Billy Mays. I Dude. got some flex seal at home. I yeah, use I mean, it from time to time. Hey, yeah, it fucking doesn't work. No, it does. I fucking built a boat out you of it. You built a boat. Awesome. Oh, yeah, take it that, to the lake, dude. bro. I did. It's holding my pool basketball hoop together right now. <laughs> Is it really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> fucking sinking shots on that thing. Thank you, Phil Swift. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate Phil Swift. Next. We can, there. We can tell. <laughs> Fair. Oh, let's go. Uh, Gotta love Matt Damon and Ben Affleck running around with wild haircuts (laughs) and facial hair. Meanwhile, Adam Driver got to show up to set as is. Uh, There's a new movie coming out. Ben Affleck, Matt Damon do look absolutely electric. What's Uh, the name of this movie? 
Tra- oh, I think the trailer shit, came out today, and people did, said did it, it was sweet. It was trending. I did not get to watch the entire trailer, but it did look good. I think Matt Damon. I think Driver's the good guy, and Damon and Affleck are the bad guys. Could be like completely wrong, but the those in, are bad guy haircuts. The opening <laughs> and beards. The mm-hmm. opening monologue seemed as though Damon was locking up Driver's lady. Driver saves the day, probably mm-hmm. Affleck henchman, perhaps. This is I'm the in. movie that got Affleck and Ben and J Lo back together. Back together. Yeah, so I assume that they absolutely crush it. J Lo's in this? No, no, but, no, but she saw like how fucking. Oh, she saw the dailies and was like, "Oh fuck, they need Ben back." Yeah. Look yeah. like the three guys that were always riding dirt bikes in an in-school suspension <laughs> in my junior high. I mean, you're a thousand percent. Yeah, correct. Damon and Alf like both look like they're ripping medieval butts. Down, yeah, I'm like there's no tomorrow. Driver, I mean, he looks like the leader of the pack. He does. He's the head of the table. Yeah. Whoa. He whoa. looks. Let's calm, <laughs> let's calm down. There's only one head of the table, yeah. and that's sorry, Roman sorry. freaking Reigns. Sorry, dude. sorry, sorry. And, then the, and then the Usos. It does sorry. kind of look like if they were to eventually make a biopic about Roman Reigns that Adam Driver could potentially he could. Oh. He squeeze into it at some point. But Roman yeah. will play himself. He's the head of the table. He can do it all. Well, yeah. and he's obviously got... He's already got the chops. Yeah. 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 Exactly. That's sure. Yeah. Maybe. Thank you. Fucking watch out, Adam Driver, because Joe Annoy might burst onto the Hollywood scene and take some of your roles. Yeah. You're not lying. <laughs> it's possible. It's certainly possible. Uh, next. Oh, no, Tony. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Tony. Looks like the wheel fell on me. Oh, no, Tony. Luck, Thank Tony. you for listening. Shotgun and beer, Tony. Love you. Shotgun and beer, Tony. Shotgun. I don't do that before I drive. <laughs> See you next episode. Bye.